So what are you doing, Mark? I am adding resistors to our LED board. It came arrayed like this. So there's three resistor values, and I'm one by one putting each resistor value in their right spot. So these are the resistors. And they come on a real, like, almost like eight millimeter film. So you put them all in a little dish. And then I put on my magnifier. And I remember to turn the soldering iron on. And I just have to do this 300 times. Actually 900 times. Yeah, that's true. 900 times. So we're doing this instead of using solder paste and an oven, because since there's only 300 of them and they're already in sheets like this, um, you figure that it would just take less time to do it yourself, right? Yeah, about the amount of time it would take you to... You'd still have to place all of these. You'd still have to do this operation. Um, it's These are low complexity parts, like resistors, two pins. So it's, it takes about as much time to do it this way as it would have to do the um, hot plate reflow, reflow method. Um, and the problem with the reflow method is a lot of times you get solder bridges and things. So you have to still inspect every part under a microscope. Um, so whereas this one I'm doing with a magnifier and then on the LED part I do it with a microscope and it gives me the chance to do that inspection while I do the work. So I know that it's pretty much... 100% when I'm done. So I should have fewer failures. So I did a sheet already this morning and it took me about an hour. So these will take me an hour each and we'll be done. So Mark is uh, soldering all of the resistors and the LEDs on this board right here. And I'm helping him by soldering the headers onto it. Okay. So how I'm doing that is I we have a jig right here, which is a spare of one of our brain boards, and I take the little header pin piece right there, All right. and I plug it into the jig, as so, and then once that's plugged into the jig, I can slide the LED bit on here, and it holds it nice and level so that while I'm soldering it, it isn't going to move and then cause the headers to be crooked.